Hello ladies and gentlemen, Great Taz here once again with another replay from the world of Tetris. And in this replay, we are going to be watching myself playing the Badger for the first time on the new Grand Battles map, Klondike, for the first time. This is a 1400 um, meter window, just like Nuremberg, except for the difference is it's kind of wintry. And it's a really um, interesting map, to say the least. Um, I, I actually really enjoy this game. Both enjoyed learning a little bit about the Badger um, from watching other replays on YouTube, um, quote unquote, mainly Cookie Babies, and, and stuff like that. Uh, this map is basically boiled down to like a couple different maps. Um, really hodgepodge together. Now, the area where I'm going is kind of like the hill and mines. Um, a little bit like it. It has a high point which two points they can go around it. And one point for an entrance. A lot like mines. The middle point um, is kind of like Live Oaks uh, with the bridge and the two hills on the other side and to be able to go in underneath and a road path beside the bridge. And the northern portion is like an old map that's no longer in the game. It was called uh, Northwest. And it was actually a really nice map, but it had some inconsistencies. Um, and it wasn't an overly balanced map. Um, so in turn, it kind of got pulled from the game. Uh, so, it's, like I said, it's kind of a hodgepodge of a couple different maps. Um, but, as you can see here, we're already into the action here. Uh, I, myself, started in the south spawn point, and I went down to the south portion, or the mines area. Um, as you can see, I came up against an E5, and all he could do was shoot heat at me and uh, hit my traps. Uh, I got an ally here with the 111-5A. Uh, I am done playing with this E5, so I'm going to go in and start pounding him. Uh, I can out DPM him because uh, with a 38, um, 100 DPM base, uh, it's 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 easy, really easy too. Um, and with the armor that this tank has, all he can do is hope to hit my lower glacius. Which that's really all he's been able to pen is my lower glacius. The two other times he hit tracks and I blocked. Alright, so we took care of him, and now we're going to move on. Well, there's a 183. Uh, 183 has them hash rounds, which are really deadly. Um, so, here, I just peek around the corner. It's not, this isn't a really good peek tank, but I do get a uh, shot around the corner into the uh, STRV 183B, and I take two shots, one bounce, and one is blocked. I'm not sure the difference between the two, but hey, whatever. Here I'm trying to peek a shot between the uh, scaffolding of the, uh, the walk there, the boardwalk there, um, and it, it's not quite working out as the way as I would like. But you know, we see the pat moving up, trying to be a sneaky little butthead, but it doesn't doesn't overall um, work out. I'm not real sure, but I yawn a lot when I'm making videos, and I do apologize for that. I'm not sure why I do it. When I'm playing a game, when I'm playing the game, I don't do it. So, it's, I don't know. I, I wish I knew it's something medically a mystery about myself. Hey! Right now, the battle is at 2-2 two, two and, oh, 2-3. Uh, we're down 63% of our hit points. They're down to 62. We've taken more hit points off of them, but they've got more kills. So, um, this patent is really, oh, that's not a patent anymore. It's an E5. The patent took off. So, Lo and behold, got another tank down there trying to play peeky boo. And as you can see, now we're 3 4, and we still have more hit points than they do, but we're not getting the kills. Uh, and the kills are bigger. Now they have 5 kills, and uh, they, we still have more hit points, which is kind of weird. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. Here comes a badger. We'll take his track out, and hopefully, someone else can do some damage to him. Maybe I can get reloaded before. He takes off, which I do. I get a good shot into him for 527 points. Uh, 
that I can't get another track shot into him, but that's all right. Uh, he took more damage, and that's overly what matters. Um, getting the ultimately getting the kill on him would have been better, but my uh, JPEG partner back here is at 53, and he's getting beat up. Uh, he's saying that this is bull crap. And, you know, kind of is. It's kind of hard to really work around these situations. They got some good, decent overlook positions, and they got a couple of people in overlook positions. We, or had some people in overlook positions. We have none. Uh, they were down five to eight. <sighs> and if anyone's counting, this is not actually a full 30 uh, on the North American servers. They allowed it so that you could actually get into the grand battle with 24 players. Um, and in the beginning of this stage, I wish it would have looked for 30, and if it didn't find 30 by a minute, um, that it would have actually turned around and said, okay, 24 is good enough, and then make a battle. That's kind of what I wish it would happen um, when it was looking for a grand battle. Uh, it'd be nicer to get them other six tanks into the battle because they kind of do um, change the play of things. Now, a regular stinking battle... Oh, look. E5 peeks out. We're gonna just take a commander's hatch right off. That ah, perfectly fine. It it does kind of help. It does kind of make things different with those six extra tanks. Now you don't see um, regular games much. Um, or once in a blue moon, um, do you see a regular game where it's not 15 on 15? It's very rare, um, if happens any, since uh, like 9.15, um, so, but it might still happen. Uh, I'm going back around here, um, as you can see, uh, I, I notice our north has one tank defending it, and, and one tank that's kind of hiding, so I'm kind of figuring maybe that, you know, the five guys down there can handle the three there, and stay out of the range of the four that they have them back. That's what I'm hoping they have only three kills on top of us. But with two already, three badgers, and oh, well, one medium at one point in time, uh, down, down to the north, we need some more. Uh, there, we lost another one. Now we're down by four. This is not looking good. Well, anyways, tally-ho, I'm going to continue on. Um, the biggest thing here um, in that south portion is they are, their three TDs are really staying in a position so that they have cover fire from their four back there in their F0 line. And we really had no cover fire behind us. All, everybody moved to the front. And it's, it's a lot of times you have one team that continually seems to want to push around the stinking corner and one team that will actually sit back around and let their teammates help fire around the corner. Now we're down to three tanks down there and I have no clue what's gonna, but we're gonna continue north. Let's keep pushing. I'm already halfway here. Hopefully if I can get, save the T-92, he can get some bombs in on uh, maybe them guys down there. Um, we're down to two tanks down there. There's six, seven. Uh, we're behind by eight now. Uh, we're behind by 14% damage. There's the stink Sheridan. Um, and he's dead uh, thanks to uh, Alchemist Bob and another... Badger, but he also took out 82nd Canadian Badger. Um, actually, Chaos was the one who took him out. And then we lost another Badger down south, so it's really not looking good. So it's it looks like it's going to be me versus the world again. Um, and I'm, excuse me, I am trying to do what I can uh, with what I have. Um, it's not a lot. Uh, get around on the 50B, get a good shot in on him. Hopefully we can get reloaded in time. Uh, don't need to. He was taken out by Artie. Okay, Artie, thanks for wasting your round on a, a weak tank. What? Hey, that's one gun out. Um, no problem. Now we're in a position that's not so great. Uh, we got two TDs in the IS-4 to the north. Uh, we got three, five TDs to the south. Um, and still both of them are already alive. And we only have one already and two badgers. This is not going to be a great one. All right, 268 is spotted. Time to turn around and see what we can do. Um, 
Try to get into a position that uh, I can take him out. I'm trying to see some other stuff. Ah, a badger. All right, maybe we can get uh, a good shot into him before he gets too close. Oh, there's the one, a three. Let's take him out. And double kill. Chaos takes out the badger while I take out the one, eight, three. Two for one shot. Poor Chaos is at 6%. Their already is working us over. Um, unfortunately, uh, we lost one. And, and in the gist of things, that's what really killed us. Uh, their 268 took out our already. Now it's one, again, one e versus the world. 1%, baby, 1%. Here, take this. And uh, what? Uh, no damage for a rim? Are you kidding me? Well, here, take that round in the face. You've been maced to the face. So, uh, I'm gonna roll around and hopefully try to kill eight people. One versus eight. The problem with that is two of them are artillery. Um, I really wish I knew what I should do here. Um, I don't think, uh, I really don't think I had a lot of options. I didn't have any place really to go to hide from their already because their already could really have moved um, to any position on the map and still be able to hit me. Um, I'm trying to find spots. Uh, someone is now capping my base. So I go in that general direction. It would be happen to be. Nope, not their badger. All right. Well, that was a quick shot into the badger's front and clobber. Um, well, there's another shot here. I'm trying to find the front. armor. Nope, not good. Artillery hit me. Badger hit me using gold. As you notice, I am not using gold. Trying to find the again, take another shot. There he's dead. There he's shot. I'm gonna start turning my tank so he doesn't have a quite ah, there we go. A nice bounce. And shot and move on. Uh this 30 kph isn't great because Artie is gonna make sure that I don't get away. With 34 hit points, it was highly unlikely that I was going to survive that whole battle. Especially with them having four badgers, three badgers left, and an IS-4, which was the one on base. And one of their badgers um, at that point. And really be able to pull this off. Because 34 hit points, all the T-92 would have to do was splash within 15 meters and I'd be deader. Dead. Deader than dead. 13 meters for light. 14 and a half meters for their gold rounds. So as you can see, I put up one heck of an effort to try. 4,933 damage. I blocked 2,230 damage. I had 83 for assistant damage, as you can see by my XVM stats here. Um, really, I was four too short of a top gun. And that kind of stinks, if you know what I mean. But... Um, well, let's go uh, and take a quick peek at the end game stats here, shall we? All right. As you can see, it was only a third class badge. And that battle was the night of, it was at the night after the release of 921. That was my first battle of the day on, free, on Klondike on the grand battle first time in the bedroom uh, I think I did really decent um, overall I earned a 5,170 WN8 uh, I, I, most people say that's a mediocre game to me that's a pretty good game I earned 7 bonds in the whole thing All right, uh, you know 3rd class bad duelist and, and fire for effect and you can see the 6 people that I took care of I killed 2 badgers beating up their weak points. One was a quick snapshot. Um, uh, I killed two E5s. Uh, again, using the uh, Badger's heavy armor and fire fast rate. I took out the 268, which I was really hoping to get that ram kill because that would have changed things a little bit sooner because I would have had another round loaded and I wouldn't have had to wait that extra you know, 8, 10 seconds, whatever the reload, I can't remember off the top of my head of the Badger is, to actually get him. And then I killed the FV, which was trying to take a shot in on me from long range, but I took him out before he could take me out. So, 
overall team score. Now this is a large page because again, it's 24 players in one battle. As you can see, out of everybody, we'll sort this by damage, I did the most damage. 4,933 damage total. Out of experience, I am not that far off, really, 717 for a loss and no heroic medals. And four kills, I was a killing machine with six of them. So, as you can see, things didn't work out and panned out as we would have liked. So we had to do what we did. I fired 19 shots in total. 18 of them were direct hits and 14 of them were penetration. So I only missed one shot and I penned pretty much 75% of the time. Uh, 4,933 damage overall uh, for a 1,343 um, from over 300 meters. I received 11 hits, five which penned, six which did not, and three with splash. At the end, Artie was just kissing my kicking, kissing my butt, kicking my rear end. I blocked 2,230 overall total damage, which is actually really decent. Once you figure out the Badger, um, if you're moving, you kind of want to move on an angle so that your lower glacius plate um, that I noticed in this battle, your lowest glacius plate is not being shown. Uh, and then it's a lot of moving around. 4,000. 49,000, almost 40, uh, 50,000, but uh, because of the tier 10 uh, level of the tank, it has a high repair cost of 24,000 for full repair. Um, and I had f almost 6,000 in ammo repair, none of them being gold rounds. Um, I, I didn't use any, so I didn't need any. Um, and I, I almost got 20K. So I basically yeah, spent 30K, um, almost 30K in repairs and resupply and uh, 717 base experience and I got because it was a premium account I got 1076 um, experience overall so in the end of end things uh, what can I say about the Badger after my first battle and the replay um, the Badger is a really good tank it does have high DPM um, the DPM would probably be higher if I stuck to just straight gold rounds to almost guarantee me penetrating shots every time. Uh, it does have good armor, but the Glower Glacius is its um, Achilles heel. Uh, so if you get into a point where your Lower Glacius is um, showing, you have a chance of taking damage. Um, like the E5, the first E5 I killed showed <clears throat> he was shooting at my lower glacius and he was damaging me. Um, at the, just to show that if you are above a tortoise and he is like going downhill, uh, his frontal armor really doesn't mean a lot. You can penetrate it very uh, decently. And as, as I showed with the second to last tor the last second to last badger, I said tortoise, didn't I? Second to last badger I killed. Um, so your, your rounds will decently go through. And with the last badger I killed, I just took way too long aiming for his face. I should have really, to make that battle go a heck of a lot quicker and maybe even different, I should have aimed directly for his lower glacius every time because it was showing. I, I don't know why I didn't, <clears throat> but in the long run, I did end up killing him. And it's it's what also helped me learn a little bit, little intricate trick of the tank that um, if you're moving forward, move forward on an angle and that'll make it harder for them to pen your lower glacius and your sides have some decent armor. So um, you have a chance of actually bouncing there too. So overall, overall, I like both. The Klondike is a very fun map. Um, I have played it multiple times since this uh, video um, via a couple different tier 10s. Um, I've liked it with my Artie the most so far. Uh, and so uh, I have played the Badger quite a few times. I still got mediocre skills on it. I'm still learning it somewhat. It does play kind of like a fast um, E3. It is faster by uh, 10k MPH. So it, it has its one week's point, and uh, if you can get face hugged with someone, um, you have a lot greater chance uh, for them to bounce. But you also got to watch what you face hug, because if you're face hugging down a hill, 
that lowers your frontal armor and it makes it easier for them to pen you. And if you are face hugging something like an E100 or a mouse or a PZ7 or even the VK7201, they're all got tall hulls. So they're going to be able to shoot down on your roof. So it, it gives you kind of a somewhat of a disadvantage in that. So any tank that has a high barrel um, and your face hugging will still have a chance to um, penetrate your top. So if you're going to face hug, face hugging up a hill um, is your best bet because it means they have to use more of their gun depression. Um, it angles your frontal armor more. It'll angle your top armor more. So it'll be less likely that anything will be actually able to pen you from that situation. Now, remember, HE rounds don't aren't affected as much by armor because they blow up and they do damage. So keep that in mind. And with all that being said, this is great, Taz. Wishing everyone a great day. Uh, keep safe. Have fun. And hopefully... I will see you in the world of tanks. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you'll peruse through some of my other videos on this channel. And uh, subscribe. Uh, I plan, I'm trying to do a couple videos, you know, every once in a while. Most of the videos are from my own. I haven't found, you know, really ones um, people to make a lot of videos of. Because um, a lot of people are making videos of themselves. And then you've got people like Quickie Baby. Um... Klaus, uh, and uh, uh, Jingles, Mighty Jingles, all making videos of people who actually post really decent games on um, what replays. But if you happen to see me in-game and you have a replay you would like me to do, um, please hit me up. Uh, please post it uh, to whatreplays.eu and then send me the link in-game and I will try to get to it. I can make no promises. With that last thing being said, and I know I said this once already, this is Great Taz out. Have a great day, and see you in the world of tanks.